How do we fundamentally show parents and decision makers that this is the way to healthily develop a sporting system, not one that's focused simply on accomplishment of trophies and wins, that sort of thing? Well, I would argue this standpoint. Um, you know, sport, as indeed many walks of life, um, are laced with poor behaviours, let's say that. Right. And none of us are immune to that. We all can make mistakes at times. It just depends on the magnitude of those mistakes. Yeah. Um, and things we're not necessarily proud of. But, you know, for me, sport is a very powerful vehicle for teaching so many things that are important for society at large. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, as I said, keeping as many children and youth involved until the end of high school, but also remembering that long term, mm -hmm. if you believe in the regeneration process, these will be our parents of the future. Sure. And they're going to have youngsters that we hope they will put into soccer or other sports. Mm -hmm. They're going to be our coaches and referees and administrators, perhaps even sponsors, mm -hmm. certainly our politicians, and then obviously our, you know, our the various professions and trades for the future. So we're building a society and if we can give them a, a really good grounding of understanding, communication, teamwork, fairness, working hard, perhaps working hard you know, and, and losing in the short term for a long term gain, the, these are almost values around life in general. So for me it's extremely important that we, we understand that and another, this metric of having as many children finishing the engagement in the sport as long as possible compared to how they start. This metric of retention, if you like, is very important because it, it would suggest then that the environment that they're in, they're enjoying, particularly as they start to get a choice in their sort of mid to late teens.